Finally tonight here, the Beatles landing in the U.S. 60 years ago. It was 60 years ago today. February 7th, 1964, the Beatles coming to America. 3,000 screaming teenagers are at New York's Kennedy Airport to greet, you guessed it, the Beatles. The Fab Four stepping off that Pan Am plane. This photo taken by Harry Benson, the only photographer flying on the plane with the Beatles as they arrived in America for the first time. Then that pivotal performance, a record-breaking 73 million Americans watching the Ed Sullivan Show. The next day, playing their first U.S. concert in Washington, D.C. at the Washington Coliseum, singing Twist and Shout. And tonight, 60 years later, for the first time, the photographs taken by Paul McCartney himself back then using his own Pentax camera. He's now showing them to American fans across this country, offering an intimate new glimpse into the trip to the U.S. that transformed rock and roll. To look at the love and the wonder of what we went through that's captured in a lot of these photographs is the whole thing. It's what makes life great. Paul taking a selfie, a photo in New York's Central Park of photographers taking photos of them. The view through the back of their car, fans running right behind them. McCartney recently rediscovering them and putting them on display first in London and now here in the U.S., now at the Chrysler Museum of Art in Norfolk, Virginia, then moving to the Brooklyn Museum. Tonight, McCartney saying of the photos, they bring back so many stories, a flood of special memories, which is one of the many reasons I love them all and know that they will always fire my imagination. The Beatles in America 60 years ago.